In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the charging of a capacitor through a resistor. This is very interesting behavior, A, because we can store electricity, but B, because of the way that storage takes place. The circuit that we're going to use is a very simple one. We've got a capacitor in series with a resistor. We're going to connect them to a power supply. In order to keep track of what happens, we're going to use these wonderful old meters. The ammeter is measuring how much current runs into the capacitor, and the voltmeter is going to tell us how much the electric potential changes across it. We've got a knife switch, which is going to let us connect the capacitor and resistor to the power supply. When we throw the knife switch to the left, the electricity flows through the circuit. Notice the two meters. The voltmeter rises and holds its value. But the ammeter starts by jumping to a high value and then slowly deteriorates until it reads zero. What happens is we put a charge on the capacitor and when that charge builds up, the capacitor pushes back with a potential equal to the battery. So that means the battery is pushing forward with four volts, the capacitor is pushing back with four volts, and we no longer have any current. It's also very important to note that as the capacitor builds up charge, the current drops. And the rate at which the current is moving and the voltage is changing gets smaller and smaller. What's happening here is a capacitor, which of course is two parallel plates, separated by an insulator, build up charge. Negative charge loads up on one side, positive on the other. The more charge on the plate, the less attractive the plate is for any more charge to arrive. So in the beginning, the electricity moves very rapidly, but by the time we're done, the repulsion of the like charge on the plate keeps the other charge from moving very rapidly onto the plate. The time that all of this takes is very much related to the resistor we choose. A big resistor limits the movement of electricity and the process takes longer. Small resistor, the electricity moves very easily and we charge the capacitor quickly. When we disconnect the power supply, everything holds. The capacitor stores the electricity. In reverse, the behavior follows almost the same pattern. So we're going to put a wire on the other side of the switch, which will replace the power supply with a short circuit. When we move the switch to the right, we connect that wire, and now our series capacitor and resistor have a very, very easy closed path. Initially, we get a high surge of current. That energy begins to drain away. As the charge leaves the plates, there's less and less push for more charge to leave. And so the current trails off, and the voltage approaches zero slower and slower, but eventually gets to zero. 